In this video, we will discuss Clumpy's Palsy. So what's Clumpy's Palsy? Clumpy's Palsy is the palsy of the lower roots of the brachial plexus involving cervical 8 and thoracic 1. The palsy of the upper root of the brachial plex causes herbs palsy or radular palsy involving cervical 5, 6 and 7. So what happens in Clumpy's Palsy? There is loss of function of all lumbricans. So when does it occur? The deformity occurs when upper limb is suddenly or forcefully pulled up or when upper limb is pulled excessively during breech delivery. It may also occur in case of a cervical rib and in pencos tumor. It affects intrinsic muscles of the hand and flexors of the wrist and fingers. The short muscles of the hands are affected. Flexor carpi ulnaris and flexor digitorum profundus are paralyzed. Classical presentation is that of claw hand. There is flexion of the interphalangeal joint and hyperextension of the metacarpophalangeal joints. Involvement of the thoracic one may result in Horner syndrome. And what happens in Horner syndrome? In Horner syndrome, there is ipsilateral ptosis, meiosis, and anhydrosis. Why ptosis occur in Horner syndrome? Ptosis in Horner syndrome is partial ptosis and is due to paralysis of molar or superior tarsal muscle paralysis. Superior tarsal muscle is supplied by the sympathetic nerve. Ptosis in Horner syndrome is less than that seen with the oculomotor nerve palsy. So why myosis occur? Because it is supplied by the superior sympathetic ganglia that causes dilatation of the pupil and constriction of the pupil is caused by the pupillary constrictor supplied by the oculomotor nerve. There is sensory loss in the medial aspect of the upper limb and the grasp reflex is absent.